Hello, everyone. I want to speak about something important. Choose to not argue the truth. And you may say, Uncle Kev, what are you speaking about? Give me time. In this life, we are going to encounter from, from what I understand, I believe we all are going to encounter different types of people. Some people may be agreeable. Some people may be very, very disagreeable. I believe with many of those disagreeable people, you may have a difficult time with them. With some of those people, as it seems, they don't really want to accept the truth. They want to be the victim. They may minimize their wrong, but see your wrong as so big, even when or if you did nothing wrong, or if you did something wrong, let's say your wrong is less than theirs, but they magnify the wrong that you have done and minimize the wrong that they have done. Some of these people may gaslight you. For instance, if you see something green, they may say, for an example, they may say it is red. So let's say that you all are in a disagreement. And let's say that you know pretty much what happened in that disagreement. You can say, hey, I did not like when you said this or did that. And they may tell you, I did not say that. I did not do this. As if, you know, if you are a healthy minded individual, you may second guess yourself. Like, like did I like did I see that or did I hear that? But with these type of people, it is probably best to not second guess yourself. If you know the truth, you don't have to argue about it. If you know you heard this or saw that, and if they deny it, what good is it to argue about it? If they did something to cross your boundaries, and if they deny it, go carry out what you are going to do anyway. Does that make any sense? Let's say that if person A did something and because person A did something it will make you do something I am not saying to do any harm and if that person denies that he or she did something go carry out what you are going to do even if they are gaslighting you you don't have to sit there for 5, 10, 20 minutes arguing something that you know is true. Just do what you have to do. If a disagreement happens and a person is accusing you of something that you know for a fact you did not do or say, don't sit there and argue. You know, if they want to accuse you, 
let them be the only one speaking. You can get up, walk away if you have to be there. Just be silent. Close your mouth. Because chances are, that person knows the truth and you know the truth. And if someone is accusing you of something that you did not do, and let's say they really believe it, let's say that you did not do it, but they really, really believe that you did it. And let's say that is due because of a mental illness or something, like what can you really do about that? How can you really combat against a mental illness. Just be quiet. What good is it to argue and fight about something that you know is true if I am saying that right? Like if you know something to be true, why are you arguing and fighting about it? If someone doesn't want to accept what you are saying, be quiet. And if they have a very bad habit and being disagreeable, you may have the option to stay away from that individual, right? Why should you choose to be around someone who seems to not be really honest or a person who gaslights you so much. I believe many of us have to get out of the bad habit in trying to prove our innocence. Like many of us have to get out of the bad habit in trying to prove that we are right. Now, if there, now, if you are conversing with a mentally stable person, you know, you may be able to prove your innocence. You may be able to logically speak to that person. But if you know or if you encounter a person that is very, very disagreeable, that uh, has a mindset, no matter what they do, they are right and the other person is wrong. Why even, like when there is a problem, why even say much or really do anything? Because in a sense, you will lose if you try to challenge them unless you are willing to lower yourself and do bad things as they, if that makes any sense. Just because someone is doing bad things to you in a disagreement or in a situation doesn't mean you have to match their energy, doesn't mean that you have to go low as them. Does this make any sense? Some people may call you weak. Some people may say that, hey, you don't stand up for yourself and you are a pushover. But let me say this. Would you sit there and argue? I was going to say a dog, but maybe that would be offensive. Would you sit there and argue with a goat? Would you sit there and argue with like a, a baby? Would you sit there and argue with like a, like a small teenager? I believe you probably wouldn't. Well, let me say not a teenager, but let me say uh, like a goat or like a, a dog or like a, a ant. I don't believe you would argue with those animals because they are animals. 
am, am I calling bad people or mentally unstable people or people or bad people? Am I calling them like animals? No. The point I am trying to make, there would be no point in arguing with a dog, goat, or whatever like that because what are you really going to get from it? Like, what are you, like, what gain is there out of it? A goat is a goat. A dog is a dog. An ant is an ant. Do not argue the truth. If you see, I was going to say, if you see a red dog, you saw a red dog. You know, if someone says, Uncle Kev, you did not see a red dog, let that be the end of it. Why should I be like, no, you are wrong. I saw the red dog. You know, the dog crossed my path the other day, so on and so on. And then the interaction becomes like a back and forth thing to where our voices are increasing. Then... Um, insults begin to happen and speaking about each other's mothers and saying foul things it don't have to get to that point if someone says i don't think so and if that person is not so agreeable let that be the end of it if that person is willing to go further in disrespecting you, get up and walk away. You don't have to fight with a person to prove your point. You don't always have to be proven right. If you are dealing with a person that is disagreeable, chances are if what you are saying goes against what they are saying, what is the chance they are going to agree with you anyway? What is the chance? You know, just step away or whatever else like that. But I hope this makes sense. May God bless us.